conic sections hi everyone for this session we will discuss new chapter conic sections so what is mean by conic section so conic section means the figures obtained by cutting a cone with the plane is called conic sections so here yeah, definition of conic sections means the figures obtained by cutting a cone with the plane with the plane is called conic sections So this is the definition of conic sections. Here we need to find such figures. So for that, first you need to construct a cone. So for that, consider a any vertical line. The line is fixed, and any line intersect the fixed line. at some point so this line is fixed but this line is not fixed so this line rotate about this point see here like this this line is rotate about this point so like this the line is rotate So clearly, the surface is called what cone. So clear, this is the shape of a cone. See ya. Clear, this is a cone. Now see ya. This point is called a vertex of a cone. is called what vertex of a cone and this is called what this fixed line is called axis of the cone this line is called axis of a cone so clearly this axis is fixed now this line is what rotate about this point so clearly this is generated line of a cone okay now angle between axis of the cone and the generator is sum of okay is what sum of so this angle also alpha so angle between generator of a cone and axis of the cone is what alpha so clearly this cone is called a double right circular cone this cone is called what double right circular cone double right circular cone so clearly the two side of it this is double right circular cone or double lap cone or what double lap cone so next cutting a cone with the plane in various forms okay so see the next concept cutting a cone with the plane in various forms see the first one you have to consider double right circular cone so clearly this is a double right circular cone and this is what axis of the cone you know that angle between 
generator line of a cone and x of a cone is alpha now in first case so cutting this cone with the plane which is perpendicular to the x of the cone see here like this So clearly x of the cone is perpendicular to the plane. Suppose that I have some beta. Here beta is equal to how much? 90 degrees. When the right circular cone is cut by the plane. So that the angle between the axis of the cone and the plane is beta which is 90 degrees then the new figure is obtained that is called what circle so see here like this this is what upper line upper line so cutting a cone with the plane which is perpendicular to the x of the cone then the new figure is obtained that is called what circle this is what circuit so this is the first case now see the second case again consider the double right circular cone This is the double right circular cone and this is called what axis of the cone. When the right circular cone is cut by the plane, see here like this. So cutting a cone with the plane. So in that case, the angle between generator line of a cone and the axis of the cone is alpha, which is less than the angle between the axis of the cone and the plane. That is some beta. See here, the angle between generator and the axis is alpha and the angle between the axis and the plane is beta in that case alpha is what less than beta so clearly the new figure is obtained that is called a edge see here like this so this is a upper Map. So cutting a cone with the plane. In that case, alpha is what less than beta. So clearly, the new figure is obtained. So cutting a cone with the plane like this. So slanted. So clearly. A new figure is obtained that is called what? Ellipse. So this is the second case. So next to third case. Again we have to consider double right circular cone. This is the double right circular cone and this is what axis of the cone. Okay. So cutting a cone with the plane which is parallel to the generator line of a cone. 
See her like this. This is the plan. Cutting a cord, which is a plan, which is parallel to the what? Generator of a cone. In that case, angle between axis and the generator which is alpha. So alpha is equals to what? Beta. Where beta is the angle between axis and the plane. So clearly both angles are equal. So because of this is what? Parallel. These two are parallel. We know that parallel lines makes equal angles. In that case, the new figure is obtained that is called what? Parabola. See here like this. So consider the upper now. Okay. This is what axis. So cutting a cone with the plane. So like this. Which is what? Parallel to the generator of a cone. So we can cut the this cone with the plane which is parallel to the generator of a cone. Like this. So clearly a new figure is obtained. That is called what? Parabola. So this is called what? Um, so see the fourth case. Again we have to consider the double right set clerk. So this is the double right set clerk. And you know that this is what? Axis of the core. So this is axis of the core. So cutting a cone with the plane. See here like this. So clearly, you know that angle between axis of the cone and general line of the cone is alpha. And the angle between the plane and the axis of the cone is what? Beta. Okay. When the right circular cone is cut by the plane, so that the angle between the axis of the cone and generator of the cone is alpha, which is greater than the angle between the plane and the axis of the cone, that is alpha is greater than beta. In that case, a new figure is obtained that is called what? Hyperbola. So, see here. Consider the double lamp cone. So, this is what? Axis of the cone. So cutting a cone with the plane. So, see here like this. So, clearly, once you observe the upper neck, so you can cut the cord like this. So clearly a new figure is obtained. Once you observe it down neck, it's here, like this. You can cut a cord with the plane, like this. Then, a new figure is obtained. Okay. So that is called what? Hyperbola. So these are what? Collect sections. Okay. Cutting a plane with the cone in various forms. So next definition, cone. Simply conic is the, the locus of a point 
moving a new plane such that its distances from the fixed point to the fixed line are in the constant ratio e is called what conic so see here write in words the locus of a point moving on a plane such that its distances from fixed point and fixed line or in the constant ratio or in the constant ratio e is called conic so first to consider the coordinate axis this is the both x and y axis so let p be the locus of the point suppose this is the locus of the point which is moving on a plane such that the distance is from fixed point so let us consider any point s yes, the lies on the x axis and which is fixed and a fixed line suppose this is the fixed line the ratio of the distances means fixed point to the locus of the point and locus of the point to the fixed line whose distances are in the constant ratio e means sp by pm is equal to e is called what conic now clearly this fixed point is called a focus the fixed point is called focus it is denoted by s and you know p is what variable point and this fixed line is called what directrix this fixed line is called what directrix next a line passing through the focus and perpendicular to the directrix is called axis is called what axis and e is called what eccentricity e is called eccentricity okay so here if e is the customer then the conic is called then the conic is parabola next one if e lies between 0 to 1 then the conic is called ellipse next one if e is greater than 1 then the conic is called hyperbola so this is the concept of conic on next session we will discuss new concept